what's up guys? Welcome to an episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today in the driveway we have these beautiful Toro lawnmowers. We have the infamous Super Recycler SR4 and then we also have the tried and true Toro Recycler here on the right. Now, the main star of the show and the reason why we're here is not the issue with the mower themselves, but the motor. These are the 159cc variant, seven horsepowers or seven foot pounds of torque, however you want to call it, is the issue. I have never seen these motors on any other machines, but these styled this way. Once in a blue moon, I'm lying, he just got me right there. I've seen them on a Cup Cadet, but the carburetor is very, very different, very, very unique. Unfortunately, you have to go one route and one route only. It's not the worst financial thing to do. The death sentence to this carburetor is it's leaking fuel when not running. So it's something with the needle and seat or the float. This is a Honda copy, but it's a better version of a Honda. So you definitely did a good job by buying this instead of a Honda. Um, once it starts leaking fuel, there's nothing you could really do because it's all built into one piece and it's just, it is what it is. So the link in the description to buy this car will be in the video. I mean, in the description. Wow. Let's try this one more time. The link to purchase this car from the same exact seller that I got it from at the best price at the best time will be linked in the description. Also, we're going to do an extra step to uh, make this car rate a little bit more reliable. If you don't have the tools at this time and you want to do it later on, that's not a big deal. The link in the description to buy these tools to do the specialty, this little trick on these carburetors that will uh, reduce downtime and increase performance just a little bit. Uh, that'll be in the description too for the micro drill bit set. So let's take a look at this carburetor and this little trick that I'm doing and then we'll get down in here and we'll start replacing the carburetor. All right guys, so when you're gonna unbox the carburetor, it's gonna come with gaskets. We'll sit that to the side. Okay, then the next step is gonna be the carburetor itself. Look at all this extra stuff here. Crazy. This is what we're going after. So you could just take a flat tip screwdriver. Okay, this is called the idle circuit. And we're gonna undo this. And pop it out. Flat tip, boom. Okay, and this is what we're going after. Look how tiny this hole is. Just gonna take a micro drill bit the next size up. This is the smallest drill bit in the bunch. And we're just gonna open this up the next way. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is, if you guys remember, growing up, am I dating myself? There used to be machines, CA admissions and non-CA admissions that you couldn't sell them. Now to keep costs down and production down, you know, having so many different models, they have admissions for all. So the same mower or the same piece of equipment that you buy here is very is emission friendly in California. That crap hole state. Can't change my mind on that. So what happens is this little tiny hole gets clogged up very, very easily and will cause issues. By opening this up to the next size, you decrease the chances of it getting clogged up and just a little bit more fuel, a little bit more performance. Um, does not have to be done, but I live on an island as well, and the air fuel ratio, I guess to what, uh, above sea level, is a little hinky. So over time, this is going to start surging anyway, and we need more fuel. If it doesn't happen right out of the box, it's going to happen later down the line. That's for me, because I call Long Island, New York home, put that back in. We'll go back to the machine and what we're going to need for today, 10 millimeter and a pair of pliers. All right, so for your viewing pleasure, I have the mower on a jack stand so you can get a little bit of a better angle for you guys. But you could do this with the mower laying flat on the ground. As you guys notice, the muffler side is always tipping down and that's the way it should be. This mower is ran out of fuel. There is no gas in it, so I don't have to worry about fuel spilling out. But if you have fuel in here, clamp the line, 
run the machine, let it run out, or clamp the line and whatever fuel comes out, comes out, but it will stop. Well, this thing is out of fuel, so we don't have to clamp anything. Two 10 millimeter nuts, and then from here is where the magic happens. Because this is a Honda clone, this is metric. So right from here, we're gonna expose this, tilt this to the side, and look at, look at all these extra levers. One here, one here, one here, and one here. All three. Don't freak out. Alrighty, so there's gonna be this hard metal gasket. Sometimes these are stuck and frozen. So what you do is you take a flat tip screwdriver, very small thin one, and you work its way around and then it comes right off. And what I like to do is flip it on its side and put it over to the side. Because now we know when we put it back together, we flip it back up. Okay, our next step is, is to disconnect the fuel line. Like so. And it's gonna come right out. And see, because this machine has no gas, there's nothing to come out. The next step is to remove this linkage. This linkage is held on, so you're just gonna push this clip away towards the front of the mower, okay? And it lifts right out of the way. The next step is this linkage over here, which gets a little tricky, we're gonna push it towards the mower and then pry, uh, push it towards the mower and then take your pliers Bend that plastic tab and it is out of the way. That is going to stay on the carburetor. Then, our last and final piece is this right here. Ah, freak, I just just stabbed myself. Got to be careful with that thin, that thin wire. Okay, just gonna push that spring out. And then this last piece, as we pull it forward, bend it and it comes right out. Bam. There is our carburetor is completely out. Notice we have to get this piece out and put it on the new carburetor. So let's see if I could do that. Just gonna squeeze and pull and then push. Come on baby. You're almost there. It's almost like you wish they included it. So now it should come out. Come on. Come on, girl. I see you. This is off camera. And there we go. It's out. And there's her new carburetor. And then it just goes right in. Boom. Good to go. Transfer the linkage. Like so. And now we are ready to install. Now remember, slide this back on. This has to go in here. 
And remember, we had to bend that, this little plastic piece up a little bit, and then it should pop right in. Come on. You're making me look bad. There we go. Then we'll take this front lever. Up, this goes down towards you. Snaps into place. And then remember, this last one, we have to play with it moving up and down and then we could slide it right in, which it is. Put our spring in the little teeny tiny hole and we are good to go. Just like so. Guys, I just want to remind you just a little bit of a playback in case the camera didn't pick it up the first time, is this is the trick here. Remember, take your needle nose, pull this front tab to the side, and then lift up. And then when you go to reinstall it, push it down. See? Boom. Just like that. Hook up your fuel line the same way it came off. And then we could put this thing back together the same way we took it off. Now the cool part is, this is a Honda copy. For all you guys that do small engine repair, thinking about getting more than one machine, the air filter that fits the Quantum is the same as the Honda and is the same for this. It's not a unique filter. Air filter. Alrighty. Alrighty. Even though this machine is out of gas, I will put some expensive pressure, precious fuel in here to make sure it runs. Okay, so get your tools out of the way. Your old carburetor can go in the garbage or if you want to hold on to it for sentimental reasons or show people that you fix things, do it. <gasps> oh! You idiot. You idiot. I forgot to put this back on. How come you guys didn't tell me to put this on? Remember what comes off, same way it came off is the same way it goes on. Ah, you idiot. Again, guys. Not the end of the world. Okay, put this back on. Remember guys, same way you took it off, the same way it goes back together. Okay, now we are ready to add the expensive stuff. And listen, gas prices are through the roof. It is what it is. But you wanna make sure now more than ever when you pour fuel, it goes right into the tank. And the only way we guarantee that here at Pat Taste Performance is using SureCan US, USA. Made in the USA, great guarantee, great group of guys. Alrighty, see that? No spillage, no money going out the window, as if it isn't going out already as is, right? So hopefully, there we go, click, click. Should be enough now for the fuel flow to go through. 
Now, because this is an SR4, it has a clutch. There is no bail cable or handle. I'm just gonna give this a rep. Look at that, second pull. This has a blade clutch, so watch. Guys, it can't get any easier than that. The reason I wanted to make a video on this is because this has a couple of uh, hinky dinky extra linkages. All right guys, so don't forget the link to buy the car rate will be in the description, as well as the micro drill bit sets and a few other things I use here around on the channel. If you guys found this video helpful, it's very, very important that you guys hit that like button because if somebody else needs it, this video will pop up for them. And of course, I appreciate if you guys subscribe. All right, um, let me tell you a little funny story. If you don't wanna hang out, catch you guys on the next episode, subscribe. But let me show you something. I went to go buy a lawnmower and uh, this was at the curb for free at the neighbor's house when I went to go buy the lawnmower. So I bought the lawnmower. As soon as the lawnmower was in the back of the Honda, I threw this in the back of the Honda for free. What the heck? It's an electric. Now, if this was no good, I was just gonna take this for parts. This chute is really, really nice. I could put on a nice two stage and these handles. One, two, three, four, the handle, and the rest will go to the curb. I put this up for 25 bucks and I just realized it after when the guy came to look at it, he left. This guy drove 45 minutes each way to get here in his big ass truck. When he got here, he was upset that it was electric. He didn't know it was electric. Now I was kind of shocked because in the ad, I stated twice in the title and in the description. And then I just realized now in the pictures, here's number three, electric. So he didn't take it. And my response was... And my response was because he kept talking about how crazy gas is and driving back and forth. I says, that is the price you pay because you can't read. And then I took the machine, I wheeled it up the driveway and left him out there. Didn't even look back at him. I don't care if he uttered something underneath his breath. I'm like, dude, it's 25 bucks. You're better off just buying it for whatever reason you think you may need it for. All right, guys, what do you think of that freaking story, man? It's 2022. It's common sense is not returning anytime soon. Tell me what you guys think about that one. And if you have something like that, drop in the comments. I want to hear your story too. All right, guys, don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. Later.